It's such an industrial, salvaged, antique wonderland that you can just walk there for hours dreaming about the next object that you're gonna find and looking for things. And I guess this is the most exciting part, right? Because when you go through shopping, you never know what you're gonna find and that's so exciting. Hey guys, so today is gonna be a bit of a different video and uh, I came to the Mongers Market. And so it's actually my second time coming here. And last time I came here, I was I came with the kids and I came at 11.30, which was clearly too late because I had to make so many circles around and this time I came at 9 50 and it's looking good so let's see what we can find today this is so exciting oh my god yes let's do it I'm so happy that I found this place. So it's called Mongers Markets and uh, it's located in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is 30 minutes away from me. So convenient. It has such a fascinating story because it's located in 75,000 square feet old factory that was restored and now serves for 50 vendors to showcase their, their goods. Items are so uniquely displayed and you can find an antique doors, windows, salvaged lumber, furniture, architectural elements, lockers, fireplace, mantles. I mean, there's so many things. It's crazy and it looks so amazing. The inventory is always changing and it's open only on Sunday, which was a big challenge for me because I had to figure out the babysitting for the kids, but I did it and I was so not disappointed. I don't know why, but I'm completely obsessed with these rustic boxes and there's so many purposes for it. I'm not sure I need anyone, anyone now though. Oh, look at this cute little globe! And there's even a Russian samovar. Oh, wow. But although I kind of feel it can buy it probably cheaper in Russia. This one has so many cool little pottery. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this. What is it? There's a kitchen, kitchen counter, kitchen table. This looks so cool. This place is so cool and it's probably going to inspire your creative juices flowing and going to inspire you for the next DIY project that you're trying to achieve. I'm so much in love with this um, chest of drawers. It's actually... I just discovered that it is from Yale Peabody Museum. And it was removed the system collection probably? I don't know. Anyways, it's so amazing. But the only problem, I think it's too deep for my space because it's really, really deep drawers. Check it out. Do you know also that buying salvaged items actually helps our environment and uh, instead of ended up in the landfill, it ends up in your beautiful home and has a completely new life. Isn't it amazing? Mm. Such a cool old window, a bit pricey, but remember you can always negotiate. And don't forget that when you look at the object in a thrift store, always try to think about what it could become. So for example, like this big massive door, you can make a room dividers out of it or use it as a headboard. I mean, the possibilities are endless.
The sink would be so cool for some farmhouse renovation probably. So I came back yesterday. I'm so excited with my purchases and let me start with this vase. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is yellow. And you know how much I love yellow. And look at this bird. And the most fascinating part when you go to thrift stores is to ask for the story and to know like, what is the story behind the object? So I asked the lady who sold me this beautiful vase and it was only like $8. I mean, come on, right? So she told me she got this piece from the estate sale and uh, the lady who owned that before, she was absolutely obsessed with birds and she loved birds. So she, there's like a lot of other vases with the birds on it, chest of drawers also that feature birds. And it's so fascinating. It's fulfilling to me to know that I'm keeping someone else's legacy in the form of art. Look at this bird. I mean, it's gonna just look so cute on the shelf. So when you buy something in antique malls or like in the flea market, always ask for the story because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a fascinating one. But let's get to the next object. So this thing I picked up because I was looking for the ball, for the wooden ball to display on my shelf and I could add some beads to it and um, yeah, just like make it so pretty and it was only like for five bucks. Come on, this is really cool. I don't think it's that old, but it looks very cute and looks so rough on the edges, which is absolutely love. So here's another tip. When you go thrift shopping, make sure that you take pictures of your space that you are going to decorate because when you know the space and then you see the object, you can pull out the picture and see how it's gonna fit into the space. So I was looking for this kind of ball for so long, maybe not that long, but I was looking for a ball like this to put onto my uh, bottom shelf of my bookcase because it had this empty space that I had to fill and I didn't wanna put anything too tall. So this is why this shallow ball is gonna look so amazing. I'm so excited. Another thing that I got was this drawing and I think it's actually etching and it says like 45 out of 100 which means that there have been 100 produced and this is like version 45 and I got it only for 20 bucks but I absolutely love the wooden frame that and I love that it's square and this gonna fit perfectly into my next gallery roll that I'm planning to make, right? What do you think? I absolutely love it, it's just so cute! So, and it actually says that it's, it's Monaco. I'm not very sure if it's really Monaco. I mean, it must be, right? And uh, I was trying to read the name of the artist, but unfortunately I can't because it's really, it's handwritten and um, it's not very readable, but still look at this old, amazing drawing. And here comes my absolutely favorite find because I'm absolutely obsessed with globes. And I think this is like what I'm collecting now. I'm saying I think I collect them because every time I go to the thrift store and I see another globe that's something that I don't have yet, I'm definitely buying it. So this one, I love that it's yellow, of course, because I'm obsessed with yellow, you know that. Look at this old wooden stand. I don't really think that this is that old because it has Russia, not USSR. Guess what? It was like only $5, so yes. And it's mine now, and it's gonna look so beautiful on my shelves. Another thing that I got was like these two vases, which are not too old, probably. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not old. Yeah, they're actually made in China, but hey, the Chinese pottery, it's a cool one. And I'm gonna use it to put my pampas, pampas grass in it. Oh my god, I think it's so adorable. There's also these apothecary drawers and I have to say that I've been on this search for the apothecary drawers for so long and most of the time they just don't fit what I need. But if you need one, they have this amazing collection right now. And I was debating about whether I should get it or not get it, but then I realized that I should skip because it's the drawers like were very deep and I was thinking about my space and it would not fit into my space uh, the way I would want it to, so I decided to pass on it. But they still look so cool, and uh, yeah, so if you're looking for something like that, just like go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this. If you're new here, please subscribe. 
Just hit that notification bell button. Oh my God, every time I say that, I feel so repetitive. Share and comment and like my videos. It helps my channel to grow. And remember that what we do in this channel, we repurpose old items. We do a lot of DIYs. I build a lot of furniture and a lot of furniture for kids. And I do makeovers. And my next project, the one that is in the brewing, is to completely redo my, the playroom for my kids. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you next week. Bye.